Hello dear viewers, welcome to Jazz Remote Sensing and Environmental Solution YouTube channel. Hope you are fine at your place. You will learn from today's tutorial about how to download surface water data for whole world. Using this data, you will able to conduct various spatial analysis like flood prone area mapping, wetlands mapping and identification, lakes, ponds and dam identification, drought monitoring and associated others analysis. The best part of this data set is, this data is not only showing us uh, the distribution of surface water body in land area but also its dynamic and development along the time since 1984. Uh, anyway, I think now uh, I should start the tutorial. First go to Google search box and then write global surface water explorer then click on this link global surface water explorer i will give this link uh, in the description section of this video click on here uh, explore explore after that you will get this interface first layer that uh, show on the map is the water occurrence data this data show us the about uh, the occurrence of water surface since 1984 to 2020 and uh, the map gradient uh, that show us the occurrence of water surface blue color represent the permanent water surface because uh, it is always water uh, we know every time and white to light blue color represent the tempor uh, temporary water surface maybe because of flood or agricultural practices or water level rise due to tidal wave you can change background layers uh, as earth time lapse satellite and also in white background or all map background anyway then uh, next on water occurrence change intensity the second layer is the water occurrence change uh, intensity during early 20 years to late 20 years there are three information no change water surface decreased water surface during last 20 years or increased water occurrence at last uh, 20 years again uh, you can change uh, background layers you can see earth uh, time lapse and then uh, third on water seasonality and uh, third layer is about water surface dynamic for a year the data show us if the water surface always happen for a full year or it is just temporarily inundated for few months then uh, annual water uh, recurrence and uh, the water recurrence map documents uh, the intra-annual variability of water availability this map shows how frequently water returns from one year to another uh, here expressed as a percentage
there are some other layer data that may useful for your analysis uh, you can check by uh, yourself anyway now i will download the data so from here uh, click get them then you will get this page and uh, you will find here citation information also you will find data users guide click here then you will uh, you can download this uh, file and uh, you will get uh, a lot of information from here about the data and then uh, data download individual 10 into 10 file the global service auto data are available to download in tiles 10 to 10 from the map shown below click on the tile to show a list of the available data set so from here you can uh, select a tile that you want to uh, download the data from the specific location so i have selected this location as i want to download the data from about from this particular location and then you can download uh, the data occurrence change seasonality recurrence transition so i will download uh, data uh, water occurrence data the data is downloading also you will find here uh, a lot of uh, useful uh, link about uh, symbology metadata you can get the google earth engine uh, data set now we'll add uh, this data uh, in arcmap Here is uh, the downloaded data adding the two file downloaded file so this data I just downloaded from this website the service utter occurrence data as i already described uh, the data type you can find here symbology symbology from here uh, for qgs or arcgs each of the downloadable uh, files contains a color map uh, which will display the files in desktop js tools for qgs and or arcgs using the symbology that has been used in the global surface water explorer I have downloaded this uh, file and we'll add uh, in ArcMap how to use the symbology layer just add layer file into ArcMap hopefully uh, this tutorial will be useful for you if you want to learn js remote sensing and various environmental analysis and modeling therefore you can do subscribe my channel i upload weekly one or two videos thank you for watching
uh, see you in the next video